Hello everyone, welcome to Tricks for Maths. In my channel, you are getting videos on mathematical chapters of grade 10 of CBSE syllabus and also Vedic mathematical tricks and techniques to solve various type of mathematical problems. We are discussing Vedic mathematical tricks to solve division problems of larger numbers. In our previous video, we have learnt division by Nikhilam Sutram that belongs to special techniques, right? So we covered Nikhilam Sutram that means the divisor is must be nearer to 10 and that to below 10 or 100 or 1000 and so on. So base 10 we have taken nearer to that base 10 and also less than base 10 that means 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 in case of 10 or you can take 83, 85 or 91, 92 and so on which is below 100 and in case of 1000 also 900 or 800 something any such type of divisor you have taken and you learnt how to solve those type of division problem you using Nikhilam Sutram. In this video we are learning division of a larger number using Paravartya Sutra. That means divisor must be nearer to base 10 value and is little above the base 10 value. That means in case of 10 it may be 11, 12 or 13 okay or 14 and also in case of 100 it may be a slighter more than 100, 112, 108, 107 and any divisor you can take. So let us go for some example. Here there are four example. In first example you are observing divisor is nearer to base 10 that is here it is 11 okay it is slighter more than 10 and in the second example you are observing the divisor is 12. In the third example you are observing divisor is nearer to 1000 okay and more than 1000 right 2213 in this problem you are observing it is more than 10,000 okay you are observing larger numbers and it is very easy to solve these division problems using Paravartya Sutra. Let us go for the first example. This is Sharda Hegde. What are the steps do you follow in order to solve 234 divided by 11 using Paravartya Sutra? Let me explain step by step. First thing you need to follow is write the numbers as shown here. Okay, 2, 30, 4. I am giving space here and the divisor 11. Okay, so we need to write like this and then we need to find out the transpose of the number except the leftmost digit. Here the leftmost digit is 1. So, leave that digit, whatever other digits may be, you please take that and you please find out the transpose. That means you change the sign. Here it is 1, so I am taking minus 1, okay. Write minus 1 below the given number, okay. And now you will start dividing. The steps are write first term as it is in the quotient part, okay. This is the quotient part. Now, 2 as it is you are writing. The next step is multiplying this 2 with minus 1 which is a transpose. Okay. What we have taken. So 2 minus 1 is a minus 2. I am writing below 3 that means in the second column. So first column belongs to 2. Second column belongs to 3 and third column belongs to 4 here. Okay, so 2 minus 1 is a minus 2. Now you are moving to the operation 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, now again multiply 1 multiplied by minus 1 that is minus 1 itself. 4 minus 1 is 3. Yes, we are done with the process. But now which one will be the quotient part and which one will be the reminder here? We need to find out that. In order to find out, first we need to find out how many digits are in the dividend. How many digits? 1, 2, 3. 3 digits. Okay. And how many digits are in a divisor? 2 digits are there. So you are subtracting number of digits in the divisor 
from the number of digits in the dividend okay here there are three digits three minus two okay that plus one gives you the number of digits in the quotient part okay so three minus two is one plus one is two so there will be two digits in the quotient part so from the left hand side i will find out two digits okay 21 so this is the quotient and this will be the reminder okay 21 is the quotient and 3 is the reminder of this problem we will solve few more questions okay we will understand better let us move to the second problem 2896 divided by 12 i am doing here so how will you write 2 8 9 6 okay and i will write 12 divisor here now i need to find out the transpose of 12 not 12 i need to give up this leftmost digit and considering only the other digits so it is having only two digits so i will leave this leftmost digit one now i am considering only two transpose of this two is minus two okay just i am changing the sign minus 2 so now i can go for division i am writing the 2 as it is 2 2 is a 4 minus 4 8 minus 4 is 4 4 2 is a it is minus 8 okay minus 2 into 4 9 minus 8 is 1 1 2 is a 2 minus 2 6 minus 2 is 4 so 2 4 1 4 i got the answer but I need to find out the quotient part as well as reminder part. So, how many digits are there in dividend? Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, minus 1, 2, okay? 2, 2 digits in the divisor, that plus 1 gives you number of digits in the quotient. 4 minus 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3, so number of digits in the quotient is 3 from left we need to count 1 2 3 this goes to quotient okay that means 241 is the quotient of this problem and 4 is the reminder of this question okay it's very simple now we are moving to problem which consists of more than two digits in the divisor part so let us go for this problem okay how i will write here 2 5 5 my dividend is 255 5, 9 8 6 okay and now i will write 2 2 1 3 now transpose of this number is i should not take 2 leftmost digit i should consider only 2 1 3 okay remaining digits and with the negative value 2 minus 1 minus 3 3 is many digits i need to take three digits here the first step is two as it is i am going to write this two as it is now multiplying with each one of the transpose okay two minus two za is minus four i am writing in the second column and then two minus one za minus two okay the next column two minus three za minus six okay now i'll go for subtraction 5 minus 4 is 1 here now i should not go for other subtraction okay now directly multiply it again okay only one subtraction you will do 5 minus 4 is 1 now 1 minus 2 is a minus 2 i'll start with because i already done 5 minus 4 so i should not write in this column i'll start with the next column 1 minus 2 is a minus 2, 1 minus 1 is a minus 1, okay, 1 minus 3 is a minus 3, yes. Now, I will just do this operation, 5 minus 2 minus 2, that is plus 1, okay, minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4, 5 minus 4 is 1, okay. Now, here also I am not going for these things, okay, only solving one column. Again, I got 1 here, 1 minus 2 is a minus 2, minus 1 and minus 3 
we completed till 6 okay this column also we completed so now i can solve these things okay at a time 9 c minus 6 minus 1 minus 2 is minus 9 itself 9 minus 9 is 0 now 8 minus 4 is 4 6 minus 3 is 6 i got 211043 but this is not my answer right we need to find out the quotient and reminder for that how many digits are in dividend 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus 1 2 3 4 6 minus 4 plus 1 equals to it is 2 plus 1 is 3 so 3 digits belongs to quotient from the left hand side that means 211 is the quotient part and 43 is the reminder part it is very simple right let us move to the last problem i will write 1 3 4 7 8 6 9 3 8 6 9 3 okay and i am dividing this by 11 0 2 1 okay so first step is finding the transpose of this number we need to give up this leftmost digit so we will be remaining with 1021 so transpose of this number is minus 1 0 minus 2 minus 1 ok now we are dividing 1 as it is the first digit we need to write as it is 1 minus 1 is minus 1 below 3 we need to write the second column 1 0 0 1 minus 2 is minus 2 1 minus 1 is minus 1 so, so solving the first column 3 minus 1 is 2 ok again we need to multiply 2 minus 1 is minus 2 ok third column I am writing 2 0 0 2 minus 2 2 multiplied by minus 2 is minus 4 2 multiplied by minus 1 is sorry minus 2 ok now solving the third column 4 minus 2 is 2 again multiplying 2 minus 1 zi is minus 2 0 then 2 minus 2 is minus 4 2 minus 1 2 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 2 okay solving the fourth column minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 7 minus 4 is 3 okay again multiplying 3 minus 1 zi is minus 3 3 0 0 3 minus 2 is minus 6 okay 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. Now solving we com completed till 3 till the last column no. So we can solve all those things 8 minus ok 4 plus 1 plus 5 plus 3 is 8 only. So 8 minus 8 is 0. Now 4 and 2 if you do minus 4 plus minus 2 is minus 6. So 6 minus 6 is 0 and 9 minus 8 is 1 3 minus 3 is 0 now we need to find out the quotient part 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there are 8 digits in the dividend minus 1 2 3 4 5 digits in the divisor so 8 minus 5 plus 1 this is the formula to find out the number of digits in the quotient 8 minus 5 is 3 plus 1 is 4 there must be four digits in the quotient part from left hand side we are counting one two three four so one thousand two hundred and twenty three is the quotient part and this ten is the reminder part very easily we have found the answer for this question using Paravartya Sutra so please keep that in mind it is applicable only for the divisor which are just above the base 10 values okay so the last one i'm going to give you to solve this please solve it by yourself okay i hope you have found this video is very useful please try to solve many problems on this and be connected with my channel to get more such type of videos and also videos on 10th grade mathematics content if you are new to my channel please subscribe and support share with your friends like my videos my videos are available in Kannada version also please watch that i'll meet you in the next video with the more information till then take care bye bye